Oh, you can smell the drain in it. Smells like fun. For today's Chinese food adventure, we are going to one of our most loved family meals, and that is yum cha. Uh, I've been going to yum cha my whole life. Yum cha has been a staple for us as a family for a long, long time. Absolutely love it. Uh, in fact, my dear Amy, when she was, it was her fifth birthday, and we said to her, well, it's your birthday, where do you want to go? You want to go to McDonald's? You want to go to Hungry Jack's? What do you want to do? And she said, actually, I want to go to yum cha. <laughs> it was her personal favorite. But today we're going to be doing it a little bit differently and today is all about getting out of our comfort zone. Dad actually had the idea for this video so I'm going to let him introduce what we're going to be doing today. Today we're having yum cha like um, Amy said. We have our things that we like and the things that we know we like and we tend to have them you know again and again. Our go-to stuff that we really like having a yum cha, we've got the, the dim sims of course, they're my favourite and, and you love prawn your dumplings. The prawn dumpling oh. and the vegetable dumplings and um, the spring roll. rolls, the rice rolls and the, what are the fluffy ones with pork inside? Oh, the barbecue pork barbecue farm, chasha pork farm, chasha yeah. uh, and, and <laughs> chasha what? Chasha bao. Chasha bao. Yeah. And, and so we've got the things that we really like, the mango pancakes yeah. and you know all those things we traditionally have. Today the challenge is we have none of that. We're having all different, all yeah. out of the comfort zone, chicken feet. Yeah, we, we will we'll, we'll make feet. sure we try chicken feet. We're going to try all the things we traditionally say, no, no, no. Yeah. Ngoi or ngoi, no. Today we are going to be eating only dishes that we have never tried before at Yum Cha. Because in the 25 years we've been going to Yum Cha, I literally cannot remember the last time we tried something new. I'm, I'm super excited because you tend to get into your comfort zone with not just this, but in any things. And once you know what you like and what you're comfortable with, you're less, you're less willing to go out of your comfort zone to try new things. So I think we might actually find some dishes that become new favorites today. And I'm okay. Very excited. Dim sim, dim sim, <laughs> no dim, dim sim, dim sim, no dim sim. You better not turn yum cha into yak cha for me. It won't be yak cha. People order these things for a reason. Uh, so today we are at Macquarie Centre, just entering the centre now, and we are going to a yum cha restaurant here that I previously didn't know existed, um, but I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's called the Panda Yum Cha. Right. We are here at the Panda Yum Cha. Uh, they've invited us today to come eat very some yum cha. We are all very, very excited. Yay! Okay, let's go in. Let's go. So here we are at Yum Cha. Oh, I'm so excited. Yum, yes. yum, yum, yum Cha. Beautiful restaurant. Loving oh, this vibe yes, nice. here. So, First thing I'm going to do today is to cross off all of the items that we always have so you're not tempted. I can see the crispy calamari already. No crispy calamari. Pink blood jelly with chives, let's oh. do that. <laughs> yeah. I like the sound of that. Pink, oh, I don't. Pink, <laughs> pink blood. But it's with chives, it'll be nice. Oh, tasty. Anything, anything with chives is. <laughs> yeah, it gets all jelly like. Can't we have some? <laughs> It'll be really delicious. Chives can everything, save everything. Everything goes better with everything chives. Everything goes better with yeah. chives. Poo with chives. Poo with chives, yeah. Poo dumpling with chives. It'll be delicious. No spring roll. Deep fried chicken and chive. No, we always get that. Pork bun. Pork bun. No. Xiao long bao. No. Um, what else do we get? Oh, no. Nah. Dumplings, no. Dumplings, no. Ooh, beef tendon. That sounds mm. interesting. Yeah. Should we try? Yeah. Oh, chicken feet. With yes. black bean sauce. <laughs> I think pork belly bun, that sounds nice. That sounds cool. That sounds I really like nice. pork We've belly. Never had that before. Yeah, that would be good. Oh. It's beef tripe. We need to get beef tripe. Uh -uh. What do you guys like the sound of better? Steamed beef tripe with ginger and scallions or steamed beef tripe with sauce? Uh, ginger and ginger and scallions. Depends what's in the sauce. <laughs> so, no custard buns, no prawn dumplings, no siu mai. Uh, no steamed ribs, oh. no seafood dumplings, no mixed mushroom dumplings. Mm, mm, oh, we never get this, the glutinous rice with chicken that and Chinese nice. sausage. That's we never get that. I we never see that. Always, uh, I see it. Radish cake, we should try that. Radish should cake, I get yeah. Radish cake. What else should we try? Beef balls with water, chestnut and coriander. They sound they so good. Really they good. sound so We've good. never had that. Are they, like, are they beef balls? 
I'm gonna say no. And the steamed and Oh, no pork! No, no pork blood, oh, yeah! No. Oh no! We we're really looking forward to it. Are there um, any strange things like that that Australian people wouldn't have? Um, have a look, yes. Um, you want to try the durian puff? Okay, durian yes, puff! Yes, durian okay. puff! What's durian puff? Durian, durian. Yeah, durian that's, that's durian. Oh, that's durian, okay. Yeah, this one's my favorite. That's a smelly one. Uh, have you had durian before? I smelt it in Thailand. This is your first ever durian? Maybe. It's really strong, is it? It, it is quite pungent. Is it like, like, um, kinda smells like, like cheese? Kind of smells like, no, not like cheese. But it's cheese, that, like, a, like a really smelly cheese. It smells terrible, but tastes good. You know what? You're going to find out. <laughs> You're going to find out. There's a reason why durian is one of like the most loved or most hated fruits on the planet. Oh. I have friends that are obsessed with it. And there are like durian restaurants I know in China where you can go and order like durian pizza, durian sponge cake. That's the chicken feet. I recognize that. Mm. Our food has arrived. What one should we try first, mum? You choose. Oh. Chicken feet. <laughs> no, I think I'll try the um, the radish cake actually. Just flop it onto your plate. Flopping it. Flop it, mum. Flopping it. Flopping it. Mmm. I like it. It's kind of like, like potato, a cake. potato cake. Potato cake. Yeah. But yeah. very umami. Yeah. Very like. Mm. Warming. Number really one. Nice. Good. Dad, now it's your turn to cheese. Uh, I have to get it out of the way. Get those chicken feet. That is chicken feet. Oh, no, I don't want that one. You don't want that one? That one looks good. Well, this one. Okay, take whatever one you like. Looks like a little baby's hand. <laughs> baby's hand? Don't eat me so morose. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Okay, enjoy your Cheers. fingers. High five. High five. <laughs> oh. That's good then. I'll pay that one. That's good. Mm. Mm. I like the taste very much. To be honest, chicken feet don't really freak me out that much. It's just that foot after all. There's a few bones. Just the bones. But it does taste nice. Mm, it's very tasty actually. I think I would describe this dish as delicious but ma fan. It was really tasty. Oh, from a flavour point I don't of view, like this the is delicious. Of it. You don't like the look of it? The look of it. It's not aesthetically pleasing. No, it's not it's aesthetically. It's, it's the look. It's, it looks like a little thing. It's the vibe. <laughs> You want half? Sure you want another? Yeah, yeah, you want half? No, I'm good. I'm gonna save room for our 20 other dishes. <laughs> there must be a technique to like I know, suck I it can't... off, but not. I think I'm the slowly moment. getting the technique. You just kind of like, I'm just like. They're a bit my fan. They're very my fan. You've learned quickly, Dad. It's my all fan. these little bones, like delicious yeah. taste, but. Look at that. It's a little, little, little bone. I think that's sort of like a. You know, one of those. Oh, can you imagine if they could get the marfan out of the... the, the chicken feet. If chicken you could have chicken feet with no bones in it. Oh. Oh. Our beef balls have arrived. They look really, really good. So this is a beef ball. Steamed, steamed beef ball. I, I don't know if you can... Yes. You realise, but there's a lot of steamed things in Cantonese cuisine. It's one of like the primary ways of cooking. Um, it appears to be so on our table. Lots of steamed things. It's very tender. How's the taste? Good. So what's, what is this one? The, oh, I think that's pork belly. I think that's the tendon. Oh, maybe. I think that's the pork oh, tendon. Yeah. This is tendon. That's tendon. tendon. Oh, and the jelly right. stuff. Is that like fat? Uh, no, it's tendon. It's tendon. Yeah, it's tendon. Yeah, it's tendon. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's quite jelly looking. Oh, I thought okay. it was fat. Tendon. Have you tried tendon before? I've never had tendon oh, before. This is, this is a new experience for me. This is... Two, four, six, eight. Give it a go. How's the consistency? I'm very curious about the consistency. I'm waiting to see it's interesting. Reaction. Very nice. It's a different kind. Of, it, it, the consistency is as you would expect it to be. That kind of gelatinous, but the flavour is really tasty. It's very tender. How's the texture? Um, it's gonna take some getting used to the texture. Okay. The taste is really good. Mm. No, it's jellyfish like, is more it's crunchy. Crunchy. That's a really interesting it's texture. Really interesting. I couldn't really put my. It tastes, it tastes like tastes meat, but doesn't have a meat consistency. The texture is as it looks. It's yeah, it's not crunchy yeah. jelly. It's not super jelly. It holds its form. It's more soft. Almost. Yeah, it's soft. But the, it the like taste meat. is delicious. I love the taste of that. Mm. Really, I love really more of that. Yeah, I'm having more of that Me too. too. I have... 
I really like that texture actually. It's not what I was expecting at all. There's an elephant in the room. There is an elephant. Okay, come on, more get of a this cow over stomach with. in the room. I think it's time. It's time, people. Time for some tripe. It's my time. One, two, three. I don't know. I don't really like it. Sorry. I'm sorry, I don't like the... It's got the aftertaste I don't like. Yeah, that, that I'm not a huge fan of. Look, I'm sure it's very delicious. Technically delicious. It's, it's just, just not, it's not it's my not flavor palate. yet. It is better with the ginger. It's ginger. It's with the ginger. But that's ginger yeah. doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Ginger is stronger yeah. flavor, so it, it takes away the aftertaste. Okay, so the next yeah. dish I want us to try it's is right. this. Because yeah, this yeah, always goes yeah, past us when we're at And we always say no because we're like, what is that? Do you eat this? No, that's just the wrapping. Oh, okay. The good stuff is on the inside. You can see we've got some okay, that's glutinous glu rice. That's very nice. Very glutinous. Mm. Oh, try something. Oh, that's a good way Ooh, actually. Yeah. Mm. I would say the flavour is more delicate mm. of the things we've had today. It's very Moorish. I finish yeah. one bite and I go in for the next one. Yeah, yeah. I want to open the other one. Go for it, Dad. Oh, look at the good stuff inside. Would this change our habit? And I'd say yes. I'd, I would definitely have this again. Well, it looks like you're enjoying that one. Yeah, sure. I really like it. Okay, guys, I've been really excited to try this. Shall oh, we? Yes. Shall we go please, for it? Please, please, please. It? It's it. um, it's oh, uh, pork, pork belly in a pancake. So look, it's got like this kind of wrapping. In, I guess you just bite right into it. Looks yeah. good, huh? Mmm. Oh, delicious. Mmm. 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 Mm. That is really nice. I know. It's kind of like. Fancy pork butt, what would you say? Mm. Well, you know the good news, guys. You've got something to wash that down with. Oh, durian, durian puff. Oh, you can smell the durian in it. Smells like fun. I think so too. So, I'm a little nervous yeah. actually. I'm probably the most nervous about this. What to expect here. <laughs> really interesting. It tastes like fart. <laughs> it tastes like fart. But a nice fart. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. Like it's, it's weird. It's, I can't work out if I like it or don't. There's nothing. <laughs> I have to get over the smell to be honest. I have to say I'm not a fan. Yeah. It kind of tastes like mango pureed with onion. Yes. Yes. It's like a strong oniony mm. flavour. That's, that's raw onion. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not a fan of durian. I, I already knew that coming into this. And it's just interesting what other what people are reactive to. Like for me, the smelly noodles that we tried, I didn't find that smelly at all. They weren't smelly at all. But this bothers me quite significantly. I couldn't even smell the smell. Me neither. You weren't even reacting to it. I know, but they weren't smelly at yeah. all. And other people yeah. say they're terrible. Okay, I think of all the dishes, we like everything. Except yep. the tribe. And the durian. The jury is still out on the durian. Uh, for me, definitely, I wouldn't order that again. I'm just not a fan of durian. But I'll the pastry was very nice and flaky. Some, it's a durian, it's a little fart in a pastry. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys again for joining me today. This has been Thanks so much fun. Us. And thank you everyone at home for watching. <laughs> See you guys next time. See ya. Bye. Bye.